we have some signals here. So Raul just wanted to uh, see how to take this Bloodhound template from yesterday's workshop and implement it into Blackbird and then also, um, and then set up some uh, simple ATR based profit targets and stop losses. All right, first thing we need to do is let's get Blackbird on this chart. All right, and inside the Shark Indicators folder, we have Blackbird. So we'll add that down here. And um, I'm just simply going to um, enable it and that'll get Blackbird up and running on our chart here in just a moment. All right, there we go. All right, so the order settings button down here is how we open up Blackbird. So the first thing we wanna do here is let's go into the signal section here. So this is where you add your trade signals, all right? So we're gonna add a bloodhound signal. Um, but if you want to, uh, if you have a third party indicator that provides trade signals, you know, for example, you know, the probably the most well known one might be um, Indicator Warehouse it has a DTS indicator system that provides trade signals. So something like that. Um, I think E Mini Sniper has one, or at least they used to have an indicator that provided trade signals. So, you know, anyways, you know, this is for third party developers. Um, so they, so you can take their indicators that provide trade signals and just plug it right into Blackbird and you're good to go. So, but we're going to do a Bloodhound, yesterday's Bloodhound workshop. So then let's come down and open this up again. And so the first thing we want to do is to load the Bloodhound file, right? So if you click on the little three dot button there, right? So you ought to, you might recognize this. This is the Bloodhound interface. So we can now go to file and um, we can see here on the quick list here, uh, right there is yesterday's Bloodhound workshop file. So I can just click on that, right? Loads it up. Um, I always recommend to everybody that you take a quick look at your logic template to make sure everything's connected up correctly. So Raul wanted me to demonstrate this three um, EMA system here um, that was asked yesterday. All right. So we'll take a quick look at this logic template and you know you want to just make sure that it looks like all the leaders are connected up correctly here. Um, you know, because when you're building your Bloodhound template, it's easy to, you know, leave things connected um, incorrectly. You know, like maybe you were testing, you know, this WIC part of the logic here. You are testing that out and you forgot to put the leader back. So that's very easy to do, you know. So just make sure everything looks like it's connected correctly. So. You know, like for example, if you got a keen eye, you might have noticed, oh, what's this look back node here? It's not connected to anything. You know, so if you see something funny like that, you know, ask yourself, should this be connected to something? So, and actually, that look back should not be connected to anything. That was just a question that was asked, you know, part way through, you know, um, developing, uh, building this, this set of logic here. So, um, yeah, so that look back does not get connected to something. I just left it in there um, as a part of the training video. I can see everything's connected correctly, so I just click OK. And we can see here uh, the entry signal template here, uh, right? So which logic template are we get our, getting our entry signals from? So, and we're going to select that 3 EMA system right there. So we'll use that. You can also develop exit signals, right? Uh, so, you know, most people, you know, when you're trading, you definitely, most people are accustomed to thinking of signals, you know, to tell you when to get into a trade. But with Bloodhound and Blackbird, you could also develop signals that tell you when to get out of the trade, you know, when to close that trade out as well. You know, so if you do, you know, have such a logic template that tells you when to close a trade out, to exit, flatten your position. 
you can select that logic template here as well. So, but we don't have one. There's no exit um, exit logic um, for this three EMA system here. All right. So that is that's all there is to it to setting up your your Bloodhound signals. Just load the load the file and select which logic template you want uh, for the entry signals. All right. Um, now the next part here, um, Raul just suggested that we just create a, uh, a, a simple ATR based profit target and stop loss. So I'll just use a market entry and then for the profit target, um, there's a two ATR one here on this quick list on this quick setup. So I'll just use that one and then there is a one and a half ATR stop loss here, um, you know, on the for the stop loss quick list. Um, but let's make it a trailing one here. So let's go to trailing, and here's a one and a half ATR trailing, and I'll just um, yeah I'll s select that one there just just for fun, and that is it. You know, we're done um, setting up basically this system here. Um, so I can just. Click OK. Well, actually, another thing you might want to do. Um, so this Bloodhound template will generate signals 24-7, right? 24 hours a day. So you might want to use the scheduler here so that Blackbird will only trade during the regular trading hours, right? During RTH times. So that way you're not trading in the overnight margin. Um, so if we want to use the scheduler here, we'll just turn it on. And to get things started, let's, what we're going to do is scroll all the way down the bottom. So unfortunately, the US equities RTH um, is all the way at the bottom, you know, because this is this is all sorted alphabetically. So the U.S. is at the bottom here, but uh, the equities RTH are the regular trading hours um, for Eastern Time. Right? So there's kind of a good starting point to um, um, uh, a good. Um, what a good template to start with, um, you know, to make sure that uh, Blackbird's only trading during market hours, during um, um, open market hours, I should say. Um, and then also, um, you know, we have here as a little safety factor, we have this force trades to exit. Um, and so the default is 30 seconds before the session ends, right? And th this is um, basically this option here is kind of like the same option that NinjaTrader uh, has for strategies as well. So NinjaTrader also has a built-in overriding setting here, um, which I can't show you right now because I have Blackbird open. But but this is the same as NinjaTrader's overriding setting to make sure that your strategies are closed out uh, before the market closes. So what this means is um, 30 seconds before the session ends. Well, if we look at these um, blocks of time, right, they all end at 4 p.m. Eastern time, right, Eastern time. So basically 30 seconds before 4 p.m., Blackbird will make sure that all of your open positions are, are closed or flattened out. So... Um, but, well, I, sh I shouldn't say all, Blackbird will close out all of its positions. So if you have any uh, trades on from other sources, Blackbird can't close out those orders. So Blackbird can only close out uh, any positions that it had opened up, right? Okay, so anyway, there's a quick little overview of the scheduler. And... Um, Let's see here. Let's, um, yeah, let's save this out here. I'll save this out. All right, so there's today's workshop date. Uh, actually, 
that is today's workshop date. So, um, uh, with trailing. All right. So there's a our name for that, and um, all right. So the next thing. So that we need to do here is you, you notice this little message down here um, telling us, um, let's see, yeah, there's multiple time frames. We, so we need to press F5 to continue. Um, so since we added a Bloodhound um, template here to our system, in order to get uh, that Bloodhound to load on the chart, Right, because keep in mind this bloodhound here is not running inside of Blackbird. This bloodhound is running independently on the chart here. So I'm actually going to delete this bloodhound from my chart. That way I don't have two of them on the chart. And now if I reload the chart, and we'll have to click yes. So reloading the chart allows Blackbird to load up. Bloodhound inside of itself. So, all right, so here we go. Um, and this happens from time to time, but you might see Bloodhound on the price panel here. So you can see price is way up here at the top and it's all squished. And then down here below is, is Bloodhound. This is what you're seeing down here. So if this happens, just simply click on Bloodhound, click on it and drag it down. And if I drag it down the bottom, you see that little blue horizontal line, this little blue highlight line. So when, it, when you see that, let go of your mouse button and that will pull Bloodhound down. It'll pull it off of the price panel and into its own panel where it should be. So, all right, and then next, um, you'll see the Bloodhound button up here at the top and you'll see it in blue. Right, so this blue text, uh, the reason why it's blue instead of white or black is it's blue uh, telling you that this is Bloodhound running inside of Blackbird. So what I'm gonna do is just simply put, uh, select the logic template that we're using for the entry signals. Right, so here's the three EMA system that we're using. All right, so we have our chart all set up, ready to go. Um, and then the last thing to do is just enable the auto trader button here, right? So make sure the auto trader is enabled. Um, and then next thing is try and generate a trade signal. Let's see here. All right, so our EMAs are all reversed here. So I'm gonna have to um, move the trend up and get these EMAs to flip on each other so they're in the right direction. And then once these EMAs are all stacked on top of each other in the correct order, um, then we can start generating a long signal. So, well, it's gonna take several bars. It looks like it's gonna take, yeah, several bars for these EMAs to cross each other and, and get stacked in the right order, right? So we can see over here with these long signals, um, the way this three EMA system works is you need the faster EMA on top, the slower EMA on the bottom, and of course the middle EMA in the middle, uh, and then we can start getting long signals. Let's see here, all right, so our EMAs are almost, almost crossed there, a couple more bars. Okay, I think, um, I think our indicators are all set up now to um, yeah, produce a signal. So let me do create a little pullback here. And oh, actually, shoot. Another part of this system um, is ah, the MACD needs to be below 0.1. All right, let's hopefully we can get that MACD signal down below the 0.1 here. There we go. I think this will work. All right, I'll just wait for one more bar there. And let's move the market up. All right. I think this will generate a signal here. Yeah, so far it's looking good. There we go. 
All right, bingo. Let's neutralize the trend. All right, so there you go, uh, Raul.